Welcome back, everybody. Hey. We're watching Gagarius play with a robot frog, or at least mimic it. Right. I do like the fail noise. Oh man, I never thought about that. Okay, why? So Why did I go? Oh my god. Why did that is the question That's of the series? Why did Gagarius do this thing? Okay, so here's here's an interesting observation. So they're obviously like people-ish robots, right? right. Like. Robots that seem like, to think that they're they're people, like this guy. <laughs> but there's also a lot of robots that seem to reflect the images of animals, like mm, bugs, birds, yes. or even the frog, for example. Do you think that that's like? Do you think some like mad scientist was just like, I'm gonna just tinker and make a bunch of like crazy little robots? Or do you think something maybe did happen? You know, man, I don't know. That's the question. I I, I have a feeling people had to affect society, right? I saw a film, because they, they make a comment earlier like, what the humans affect, you know, the humans are back, even though they're not. Mm -hmm. Those robots are pretending to be humans. So clearly humans had something to do with something. Yes. When I, I first played this game, my, my first theory was, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was my first, but one of my theories was that I, I figured humanity built technology to become far more advanced than what we know today. Sure. And just totally obliter obliter obliterated nature and, you know, eradicated themselves. So my theory was that they built robots and this, like, robotic society to reflect what they once were. Okay. To carry on their legacy. I can see that being a thing. Now, I'm not going to say whether or not that actually is true. Well, because you actually have... Because I know what the ending is. Uh, there's um, nothing back there. I was kind of hoping there'd be something back there. Yes. I wish there was too. Although I guess we can get past this gate now. Maybe that was the whole point of that area was just to get more keys. That's cool. It, it felt pretty self-contained. I don't think there was anything else to discover over there. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. So, do you see that little, like, divot in the ground? Yeah, right there. When we rescue enough robots to the junkyard... Will they start filling up those holes? No. <laughs> That'd be really weird, actually. Um, there's an ability we can get that can break through those. Oh. And for the most part, they only contain gems. But, there's more gems. There's more gems. Hold more on gems means more keys. Can I do... More money, more problems. Do. Yes, I can. Good. Oh, good, yeah. Thank... I was, like, looking back there, I'm like, am I stuck? <laughs> That is a pretty weird looking frog Shouldn't robot. Shouldn't there be something like happening here? I feel like up front there's probably one of those platforms that moves with you. Yep. There it is. There it is. Oh, okay. Something else that I, I keep forgetting <laughs> I to... I did that accident. Good job. Oh, but I'm stuck. So, okay. Real quick. Do you see all those rings and the, the, those platforms? Yeah, yeah, right. I, I forgot to mention... Oh, we haven't actually mentioned it. We've talked yeah, about yeah, it we've talked outside about of it. the game. So... You can look at the number of rings in those to determine how many times you are going to jump through the layers before that platform will move. So right now, if Geekarius is to jump forward, it's not going to follow him because it has two rings. Yeah, but I really need that to come back now. Well, not necessarily. You can oh, just no, like, yeah, yeah. Actually, what's, what's the problem? I don't know. I was just making up problems. I was, I was being a goofball. There is, there are some gems. Oh, back there, there are some gems right there. Thank you. Sometimes I. You know, whatever. Sometimes I don't see that there's no ground there. Well, the gems, at least from a level design perspective, the gems are kind of used to guide you where you should. You should be jumping, you know, and I'm just like, hey, screw that. But, but I'm I just going to find empty spaces to <laughs> hop into things. Yeah. Mm, that sounded bad. Oh. I, li I, like that. I like this little plant effect. I don't know why. When I first encountered that plant, I was like, there's got to be something I can do with it. That's what I thought, too. I thought maybe I could jump higher. Yeah, right. Or even if you get when you get the ability that lets you break through those those little divots in the ground, I was like, maybe I could do break through the plant and get something crazy. Break through plants. I'm glad I bought a couple of different kinds of uh, keys from that guy. Yes. Because I was straight out of keys. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Oh, this no. is the fun part of the level. I must say, this has been pretty simple so far. Yeah, it... So, I, Ooh, I think what the idea is of that first change. zone... Yeah, well, you're in the caves As now. I fall. I think the concept of that initial, like, first half of that stage was to give you kind of a reprieve. Something you're a little bit more familiar with, while still including that little, like, teleport thing. Yeah. Um, 
and kind of letting you play at a slightly slower pace. So what that is, is it's, think of it sort of like a three act structure of a play, right? Where the first act starts, you know, the, the show starts, you know, very like low key generally. And right. as it nears the end of the first act, it gets really intense. And once the first act is over, then things calm down. But not right. quite so low as how the play started, right? Right. And then for the second act, when things start to climax for the second act, it's higher than the climax of the first act. And then when that's over, it teeters down again. And then for the final act, you know, it hits that pinnacle point where it's the most exciting, the most intense it can be. And then after the climax of that, then it teeters off and then the show's over. So game design and level design follows a similar philosophy. It can it can be a lot more complex than just a three X structure, right, but that's a good structure. foundation. But even a lot of plays like they they abandon the three X structure. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Ooh, hmm. So I think you want to go into that that, that center one, yeah. Yeah. There you go. No, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was pretty worth it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I want to get that gem by. Oh, you can totally get it. I'm okay with like, oh, wow, my damn just like, hey, let me just fucking... Um, but if you ever want to read more about it, I definitely... That's a robot. You can I know, I know. I'm getting the gems. I just... I, I want to point it out there before you do something rash, like jump off. Well, it'll just come right back to there. You never know, man. Oh, look at that. Someone different. I, I feel, feel much better. Farewell, good sir. I must return to the junkyard. I love how polite they are. They are. They're very polite bots. <laughs> good on you, robots. Your mommy's taught you well. Oh, God. But anyway, a good book that talks about that level flow structure um, is Jesse Schell's book of game design, Book of Lenses, something like that. It's it's sort of a must read for anyone that's into game design, in my opinion. Um, that was like the book we read when I was in school for game development. So that's what I recommend. Heck anyway. yeah, man. Dude, I don't know what's wrong with me right now. It's like my brain's just like... Ur, ur, ur. I think there's more gems back there if I'm not crazy. Yeah, so the interesting thing about this level is it actually, there's a, a layer of like shadow and, and kind of darkness shrouding some of the area. So it doesn't affect much. Oh, um, I'm a robot. Nice. It, yeah, the, the shadow doesn't affect much and you can kind of see most of the stuff even when you're the farthest away from it. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, but it makes it that much more difficult to kind of like, it draws your focus, I think. I and think that's a very apt statement. I think, I think that's good design. I mean, I don't know a lot about design, but I feel like creating these shadows, um, you can accidentally make a bad jump. Yeah, yeah. Um, which definitely brings a level of difficulty to the game. I, I mean, it's already there. It's not like the game needs to get any more difficult, but I'm sure right. they have it. And, and I wonder if they, they maybe planned on using oh, the shadow I'm for jumped. more than what they're currently using okay, it for. Oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> just just jump and do the 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 teleport oh it's Death three away stuck yep does that mean that you're gonna have to jump on with the one to the left and just kind of follow it until <laughs> until it matches up the way i need it to yep i think so i'm not even... Oof. that's gonna be okay all right, all right. oh it's not gonna be too bad if you go through one cycle on the things to the left, then that will be in a, a good enough position to get to where you need to go. Mm. Yes. Let me have to jump from that position that I'm at. No, no. So follow this through one cycle, and now go back. And now, yeah. So now, if you go f to that one, now you can jump to that platform in the back. Oh, this was so... Oh! I didn't even see that the rings went down as well as you were going. That's kind of a nice indicator. Mm -hmm. I did not notice that. Duh. Yep, there you go. That was just... So that, that was actually a pretty clever, that like, was. platform puzzle, sort of, sort, sort of... Yeah, that's, that's what I I'm got. really enjoying this level. It's, this is a it? really fun level. I, I actually I know I've been was... kind of quiet, but I like them. Like, listen to that music. It's... It sets the tone perfectly. It really does. And this is kind of the first time you don't have, like, I feel like this highly, like, animatronic feel to it. This is the first time I feel like you're... It, it feels proper isolated from the world. Yes. And even though there's still some of these mechanical things around, um, you know, there's no robots to interact with. There's right, no, no, like... Right, just... And I think the level design itself kind of follows that 
that feel to I feel as though it's more of a thoughtful kind of level structure yeah and less of a like this is just incredibly challenging and platforming intensive I think I'm gonna oh no wait. Yep, there we go no it's not gonna work so I think oh that actually might work no. no I have to go back to that last button Oh, did you pass up a button? Yeah, I passed up a button because I wanted to get some gems. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then that's what you got to do. It's going to be another, like, race it kind of thing, I think. And you already took too long. Yeah, that was obvious. <laughs> we'll tell you what. We're going to do this in the next episode. Yeah, let's go ahead in the next episode. Okay, so question of the day. <laughs> um, do you think that a level like this, where it's kind of isolated from everything that we've seen so far, do you think that... This is kind of both a nice change of pace, and do you think it adds to the world? Or do, does it feel out of place, I guess, is the alternative option. Oh, supposed to catch up to that? Uh, but anyway, we'll see you in the comment section, and thank you for watching, everybody. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>